Hey everybody, Pat here from West Corners Custom Cycles. Welcome back to the Underground Garage. Thank you for tuning in again. Uh, today I have another carburetor rebuild video. This carburetor is a Del Orto carburetor. It is a PHBE32. Um, this carburetor here is actually a carburetor off of a Harley Davidson 250cc 1976 that I'm in the middle of doing right now. Um, I have to rebuild this carburetor and I wanted to do a, a rebuild video on it or just a clean and adjust video. I'm going to put it on the playlist. I have a playlist on the channel of just carburetor rebuilding, all different kinds of carburetors. Check it out if you're looking for uh, specific rebuild instructions. Um, okay, what I have here today, like I said, is a Del Ordo PHBE carburetor for a two-stroke 250. I'm going to pull it apart here. I'm going to get it in the ultrasonic cleaner. It's probably just off camera from where you guys are watching. Um, I got it all heated up and ready to go. It's a pretty simple carburetor. I'm going to bring you guys over here so you can get a better look at what's going on, show you the tools you're going to need to do it, and uh, let's get into it. All right, this is probably all the tools you're going to need to redo this. A pair of pliers, that's basically just for pulling the pin out on the floats. Uh, seven millimeter, uh, 17 millimeter wrench goes on the bottom of here so you can pull off the float bowl. This also houses the main jet. Um, Phillips head, I don't think we're going to need. The only thing I've seen on here was, uh, where are we? One, two, three screws, and they're all flatheads. So, let's get this pulled apart. This here is the fuel inlet. You pop this off. Make sure I'm in frame here, yeah. Yeah, pop this off. And underneath it, you'll see there's a a little screen the screen pops right out of here like that careful you don't poke a hole in it like I almost just did okay I am gonna poke a hole in it if I'm not what else we got here hang on See what I can take it out of there with there we go all right this is the inlet for the gas um, I guess we'll start with pulling that float bowl off of there. As I said, this nut here yeah, there's quite a bit of crud in there. Houses your main jet. So we will pop that off of there. See if you can see in there. Not horrible. I've seen worse. All right. There's some crud in there, though, down on the bottom. Looks like it's lacquered up a bit. And I know it is because I could smell it in the gas tank when I took that off the bike. So. All right. I'm back. That took a second. This rod right here. Came out of this hole right here. Went right through here. Somebody had the end of it all knurled up a little bit. I don't know. It, yeah, it is knurled. It took a second to get it out of there. So this is how you take the float out. Lift this up. And you'll see on the bottom here. See this part right here? That goes down in that hole. You'll see, I don't know how well, there's a clip there that it goes in. Take it out of there. Don't lose it. You can see the end of it's tapered. Inspect it, make sure it looks good, that 
it doesn't look all destroyed. Down inside this hole, there's a taper that this sets down into. And when this float goes up and down, that's what opens it up and closes it and lets gas in and out of the float bowl. Fills up the float bowl. All right. This here is the main jet. Oh, that screwdriver ain't fitting that so well. This is your main jet. Come up here closer. Main, secondary, and then this here is for your choke circuit. Now this main jet. Goes in, and I can see it is plugged right up solid. So I'm going to pull the secondary one here. And if I haven't said it enough times, when you're working on carburetors, when you go to put them back together, now that one I can see a little daylight through. So that one's all right. Don't, uh, no gorillas, you don't have to crush these things putting them back in. It's just gently snug, whatever you're taking out. Okay, there we go. Now... There's little holes in here. You're going to want to poke all this stuff out. You're going to want to poke down through the end here. Right down through the end, there's a hole. Make sure this is all cleaned out. Make sure these jets are cleaned out, primary and secondary. And then uh, down this hole, let's see if I can get it out of there. Screwdriver will work or not. Yeah, this one might not work so well. Be careful of the screwdriver. Yeah, that one don't want to come out of there. I'm going to have to get a different screwdriver to get that out of there. Hang on a second, guys. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Had to go out in the garage and actually kind of make a, a screwdriver for this. See how screwdrivers taper out on the sides? So I had to shave one down. So that it would fit down this hole. And I'll leave this here. It's a nice tool to have. For all my carburetor work. Coming out of there a little. I'm sure there's plenty of. Lacquered up gas in the threads. There we go. Now, this emulsion tube, they call it. Get that out of the way. There's a little tube. And if you look at it, I thought it would have holes in it. Okay, I don't see any holes in the side of it. Either way, make sure it's out. Make sure you clean it real good. The passage that it goes down in, you want to make sure all the stuff's cleaned out good. Now we're going to get to the... Now, what I didn't tell you is the slide that goes down on the top of this carburetor. It's held down with two screws. It'll only go in one way. I don't know how well you can see. There's a little tab sticking out on the on this side of the carburetor, and there's a slot in the side of the slide, so it'll only go in one way. Plus, these are offset screws. It'll only go in one way. You don't got to worry about that. But uh, that's just the slide with the needle on it that goes down into this main jet. So I didn't bother bringing that in to clean. It looked pretty clean. I can just spray it off with some carb cleaner. 
Now the rest of this right here, and we're going to pull out, is the fuel mixture screw. Now remember, as I always tell you with these adjustment, these screws on the side here, the adjustment screws, always turn them in and count how many turns they are out before you take them all the way out. Like this one here, I'll show you. Get up here, you can see it better. That's half. That's one. That's one and a half. Two. Yeah. Say two and a little less than a quarter where they had it so now we can take that all the way out because we know where it was so when we put it back together we turn it to that hopefully at some point in time this was adjusted right so that you can uh, fire it right up when we, once we get it back together yeah, it's a good thing we're cleaning this. There's a lot of crud on some of this stuff. That's your adjustment needle. That's for the fuel mixture. And let's see where this one is. That's like closed. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to see what's going on with all this once we get it back on the bike and get her to fire up. I've certainly played with carburetors before that people have been into, and even though I countered it, you know, and kept like this to put it back where it was. It did not uh, run the way it should, and I had to readjust things. So, this here has a spring on it. I'll set that off to the side. And if you look in here, see if I can get it with this. I do not want that to go flying. There we go. This needle here I showed you for your fuel adjustment mixture also has a spring that goes on it. Do not lose it. I just came out of there when I was trying to get this washer out of here. Now that washer goes on there like this on top of the spring on the bigger one. And... Where that goes, there is an O-ring underneath that washer. Another thing we got to get out, it's right in here. I don't know how well you can see it, but let me see if I can get it out of there. There it is. No, looks more like a flat gasket than an O-ring. I do have a rebuild kit for this. Right here, we'll open it in a second. But that's it now. Now your carburetor is completely stripped down. Oh, nope, I forgot one thing. Your choke here. That comes up like that. Gives you access to the flathead screw.
I don't know if we needed a screw that long, but hey, we know it's not coming out. And just wiggle it up out of there. Got an O-ring on it, so it's going to come up right here out of it just a little. I'm going to have to work at it for a pinch. See the O-ring right here. All right. And that goes back in the same way. Pop it back down in there. Put your screw on there. What this does, when you flip this lever up like this, it takes this brass rod, which will be inside of this side hole here. And that'll make it go up and down. That's what opens that choke hole there. All right. Now I'm going to take all this stuff, get it in the ultrasonic cleaner right there. And get this all cleaned up, get it back together, and get it back out of the bike. All right, be back in a second. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I opened up this kit, as you can see down on the bottom here. PHBE, that's the carburetor we're redoing. As you can see here in the side of it. PHBE 32 Del Ordo, made in Italy. Okay, now look at how clean this thing came out. This ultrasonic cleaner does such a nice job on these carburetors. Makes everything like brand new. That's the ball. I don't know if you remember what that looked like when I showed you inside earlier. But it's like new. Okay, this gasket here, rubber O-ring, I've already put it around the inside of here in the groove. This orange O-ring here, I've already put it on the screw that it goes on, the new one. As you can see, this was the screen that was, that's the new one from the kit. Replacement gaskets, the darker one's the old one. And then on these rubber O-rings, this is the new one. This one's the old one. It's a little more flattened out. So, we're going to put this thing back together. is isn't going to take but a minute. We take the emulsion tube. Goes down the center. Oop! Just like that. Take our screwdriver. Screw it in. And just snug it up. You don't got to go crazy on it. Then we put our main jet in on top of that. Again, you don't got to go crazy. Snug it down. Now... This is for your choke circuit. Little tube. That's right down here in the corner. Snug it up. And then over here in this little hole goes your secondary jet. Screw that back down in there. Now all this stuff I poked out, made sure everything was really clean, took a little bit, because this stuff happened to be pretty dirty. These jets had a lot of stuff in them. Okay, now we're gonna put the uh the float together. Gonna take the float, gonna take this little guy here, this little tab on the end, goes right in here. Just like that, it should hang just like that. Okay. Then, see where we are, make sure you guys can see this. Put 
Take apart the tang in there. Let's see where it's going. Right down in that hole. And then we're going to take this bar here. We're going to go right in the end. And all the way through there. And then it's going to be sticking out a little here. Just tap it lightly. Um, that's all you need. It isn't coming out. Once you put the float bowl on, it won't, the side of the float bowl won't allow it to come out. So you don't need to beat it in there. Okay. Make sure uh, that when you're Raising that up and down, I don't know how well you can see right in there at the end of my finger. You want to make sure that's going up and down the way it should. All right, this seems to be working fine. Now, I'm going to take our float bowl, turn it upside down, boom, put it on. Like I said, I put a new oil ring in here, so that should seal real nicely. This is the nut that goes on over it. Screws on to the main jet. Snug that down with your fingers. Grab your seven mil 17 millimeter wrench. Again, no Hercules. You're just snugging that down enough for that O-ring to seal around here. Okay, now... We're going to take our idle adjustment screw and if you remember I told you there's a washer goes on top of that spring and then over here remember we took this old ring out we got to put the new one in so that goes right on top of it and that'll hold everything together so it doesn't fall apart you don't lose nothing just like that. Then we're going to screw that down in there. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, wrong hole. There we go. Now, if you remember, when we put this in, this goes right next to the where the fuel line hooks up. I'll show you that in a second. But remember, when we took this out, this was snugged all the way down. It might have been backed off just a pinch, but we'll see once we get it on the bike and go to adjust everything up. I'm just going to snug it down with my fingers by hand. That's it. This is your uh, fuel adjustment screw. Goes in right there next to it. Now, if you remember, I told you to screw these all the way in. We counted how much it was out, and it was just a little over two turns. So we'll screw this all the way down in gently, very gently, people, just till it snugs up. Okay, remember it was about two and a quarter, a little less, so. There you go, there's half, one, two, or no, one and a half, two, and I'll give it almost a quarter. Oh, I forgot something. All 
on the bottom of this nut, I got to put a gasket or we're going to have a leak. That's where this gasket goes. Just drop it on there. I have to get it down on there. Snug that up. Turn it back over. Now remember, we took a, took our choke circuit out now this goes right back down in there like that you don't have to twist it a little bit it's got an o-ring on it you got to fit back down in there then take the tapered screw screw with the tapered head Now, this is a steel screw going into an aluminum body. So, do not crank it down. You'll rip the threads out of the aluminum body. Just snug it up. Like I keep saying, anything on carburetors, you just snug up. That's all you need. That's it. Okay. Choke circuit. Now, to check this choke circuit, there's a hole inside the side of the carburetor here. You can't really see too well. But you're going to want to, if you look in there with some light, there's there's a, a piece of brass in there. And you want to make sure that goes down and closes that whole hole when this is down. When it's up, you should it should open that hole. Okay. Now, last thing is the line hookup. There's a gasket that goes on here. I already have it on the, the screw. Take your new screen, put it in there, just like that. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Screw it in there. Okay, it's a 10 mil. These are Italian, so they are metric. Snug that up pretty good because you don't want it to leak. And there you go, people. That is one PHBE32. Now, the 32 means 32 millimeter carburetor, just so you know. Um, Del Ordo, made in Italy for the, well, this one happened to come off of a 250 Aramaki Harley Davidson. And I'm going to go get this back on that bike. Then I'm going to clean out the, the gas tank on it and see if we can't fire this up. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, everybody. That's it on the, what was it? Uh, PHBE 32 Del Ordo carburetor. Um, I want to thank everybody for checking out the video. As always, please hit that like button if uh, you learned anything. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about the channel. And um, I will catch you in the next video. As always, everybody, ride safe, live life behind bars, and uh, peace out. Have a good one.